with head coach Ray Bouchard. Uh, congratulations on a great start, a clean sweep uh, as you take the, the Bulldog Invitational down there at Mississippi State. Uh, good way to start the season, huh? It was, uh, and I thought defensively there was a lot of good things to look at. Offensively, we still uh, kind of a work in progress, and our serving was a little erratic. I know that's big news to everybody around here for the Jayhawks, but hopefully we'll settle in there and uh, offensively I know things will get better as we move through uh, the pre-conference schedule. Madison Rigdon was the uh, most valuable player of the, of, of the tournament and, and just had a phenomenal weekend. She was consistent in all phases, led us in aces, um, had a very good attacking tournament, but also defensively was good and primary passing was solid. So. Uh, that's what we'll need from Madison this year is to be consistently good in a lot of different levels for us. You, you talked about uh, Kelsey Payne being perhaps a, a sixth rotation player for you, and, and she looked like she stepped up to that challenge. Well, uh, I don't know a lot of people would have guessed that she let us in digs in our first match, but with 12 digs uh, and uh, I think 10 or 11 kills, so a double-double there, um, and that, that was good to see. Um, so hopefully she can continue to embrace that role and. Uh, uh, hopefully make progress there. You have a, a great group of veterans, but you also have a, a, a large group of, of newcomers who look like they were able to make a, a pretty good contribution over the weekend too. And we're still searching, but uh, Zoe I, Hill, I thought played well in the middle. Uh, Patricia Montero had good moments along with Jada Burse and Ashley Smith. So those, those four, we've got to find a couple kids that will emerge from that group. Uh, and then Tori Miller was good on the back row, Addie Berry, uh, Allie Miller, all those kids had a chance to step in and do some good things. Now you come home for the Kansas Invitational, our, our first chance to see you in uh, inside Horish with uh, Maryland, a very good team, Arkansas, and Chicago State. That's, that's a pretty good field. Well, Chicago State's uh, coach is in his second year, and he'll be the first to admit that uh, they're in a building process, but uh, they were competitive last weekend. Uh, Maryland's got an exciting team, uh, young, but one of the best recruiting classes in the country, uh, a big class of six or seven kids, and they uh, they manhandled everybody they played the first weekend, so that'll be a, a great challenge for us. And we've developed a really nice uh, rivalry with Arkansas over the years. They've had really, really good teams, and Coach Watson's in his first year, and I know they'll show up and play very well. What do you learn from the first weekend about your team? As you say, it's, it's early, and you're still searching for, for some pieces there, but uh, what does that tell you when you go down there and, and, and dominate? Well, we played, I thought we played hard. Um, if we're trying to figure out how we can be a little bit more effective offensively, and that is ending rallies a little bit sooner. Uh, we were a pretty terminal team last year in that uh, our kill percentage uh, was a little higher than it is right now. So we got to be a little more creative in, in what we're doing offensively. And if I think that begins to develop, uh, we can create some good opportunities for ourselves. Is that a, a product of, of teams knowing a little bit more about you now? And, and, and Kansas was pretty prevalent last year. On I'm sure there's some there's some tape out there now. And on, on matches, is it just a teams are learning a little bit more about? Well, you? sure. And I mean, people are going to scout Kelsey Payne. Uh, that's the obvious. And Rigdon's been a solid performer for us in Susie. So they're probably going to take away maybe what their best shot is. So now you got to come up with a secondary and and in some cases a third shot. Uh, but we've got to get more production out of uh, players who haven't had a lot of exposure to this level yet. And when that comes, that'll uh, help us offensively. How do you look at the season? Do you, do you break it up into, into early non-conference, into conference, and then into postseason? We, uh, we take it one week at a time, but certainly we want to be at a level before conference hits because you know obviously one of our goals is to be very competitive within the league. So that'll give us an opportunity. I think as you, as you look at our tournaments, they progressively get more competitive as we move through. This weekend will be very good. And then, you know, the following weekends at Creighton and Purdue, we'll see high level teams. So hopefully that uh, the level of play will uh, transition well into what conference will bring. We mentioned the, the Kansas Invitation. Are you looking forward to coming back home and, and uh, the reception horse is, is sold out basically for, for the season. It ought to be a, a great crowd and great atmosphere again. Should be good energy in there and uh, our team will respond to that favorably, I'm sure. Uh, but we still got to uh, obviously meet the Jayhawk standard, the goals we have at each level, uh, and hopefully um, the crowd will respond favorably to that. Coach, congratulations on a great start. We'll see you this weekend. Okay, thank you.